Yo, what is going on, groomies? Hope y'all are doing well, growing well. Now, groomies, today we are discussing how to fix an unhealthy plant, no matter how bad it is, back to complete perfect health. And it's actually really easy, and there's multiple ways you can do it. Originally, I took this lamb's bread, OJ Cream School clone, in the middle of flower, rooted it, transplanted it, and revegged it back to normal for a few months. This little lamb's bread clone stayed in the clone container, barely surviving all the frequent droughts. And so now it's time to transplant to a bigger pot filled with tons of organic nutrients. And for a while in this new transplant, I took pretty good care of the plant, always making sure to water well and pH, especially in a small organic pot. But after some time, I got preoccupied with other projects and kind of left the OJ cream on the back burner. After experiencing many, many, many periods of drought constantly, we can see that the pH of the entire root system got destroyed by the leaf health. Our leaves are showing many toxicities, deficiencies, and just look completely out of whack. Since our organic soil dried out completely many times, it caused the salt and mineral deposits to bunch up even stronger and create ultra hot spots in the root zone, thus burning the roots all around. In order to fix this plant and fix any plant, it's important to transplant into a medium that you know is tried and true and has been properly pH'd and moisturized. Since I do know that my medium is solid and it works well with my other plants, I decided to just trust the process and fix the pH of my soil by constantly watering. Also, since there is a lot of unhealthy growth here, it's better to just restart and get rid of most of the plant. Plus, the main growth is below the root, so we should see an insane bounce back pretty damn fast. And that's all we did. We fixed the pH, we put it in a medium that we know is going to work, and we're going to continue to water, thus allowing the plant to grow and thrive. And when I said pretty damn fast, I mean in only nine days. Yes, literally nine days. Here's the timestamps. So again, all I did to fix this plant was properly pH my water and maintain a healthy moisture level. 99.99% of people's problems is because the pH is off and their moisture levels are off. In your case, I recommend going with a medium that you trust. If you don't know any good ones, HP Promix Myco or Roots Organic are top tier soils. In time, if you stay dedicated to the process and keep pH in your water even in organics, your plant will continue to grow its own and make a complete recovery. I will say, I always say like keep keep it wet, keep watering the plant, but you should never overwater your plant and you should only water once the pot approaches dryness. I will say there is a massive misconception that the soil should be dry and have intense drybacks. And technically, peat moss soil should never be completely dry and it should always maintain at least a little bit of that proper moisture level. That way you don't mess up the pH in the root zone. Anyways, groomies, I'm going on at this point, but the OG creamsicle plant has been nursed back to perfect health and I'm flowering it, so we'll see what happens. Clones on the website too. Also, another thing too, groomies, is you can take a clone, root it in proper soil, and then regrow the plant again and start over. So there's many ways you can fix the plant, but most of the time it's just a transplant and a pH or a pH balance. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment. If you haven't seen my other grow slash mocha ports, check them out. Keep it up out there, groomies, and stay motivated in this beautiful medicinal hobby. Hashtag Romy gang.